Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gateron CJ switches that were sent to me by Ash Keeps themselves. I'll be leaving a link to them in the description below if you do plan on buying them. Now these switches are basically the smoothest stock switches I've ever used, like ever. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. I've seen multiple videos on these and everyone has come to the conclusion that if you wanted to get a switch that felt very, very smooth without lubing them, then this was the switch to get. Also, just wanted to let you know that I recently launched a Discord server and you guys can go there. In the description below, there'll be an invite link and you can just have fun and talk about these switches or anything else that I've made a video on. Or if you need any keyboard help or if you just want to talk at all, you can go ahead and do that in the server. These switches feel very, very nice. There is no ping and there is no scratchiness to these switches at all. But I do hear that lubing them also helps even more so that they can become even smoother, but that the payoff for how much time you put into it isn't that worth it but my friends over at lubeswitches.com do have them lubed for you so if you did want to buy them lubed already you can definitely buy them from them with the link in the description as well now these switches are very very popular they tend to go out of stock a lot but i'll be leaving multiple links down in the description below if you guys were watching this video at a different time and maybe they're out of stock on one website i just want you guys to have options so these switches are made by gateron they have an ink top housing, a palm bottom housing, a 50 gram actuation force, and a 60 gram bottom out. They are also five pin and they come not factory lube. So there is no factory lube on these switches and they are five pin. So make sure that your PCB on your keyboard supports five pin switches because if not then you will not be able to use these switches on your keyboard using this switch is a very very nice experience because like i said it's very very smooth and it leans towards the clackier side of sound profiles like it doesn't sound super thocky like deep you know like a deeper tone when it comes to the switch but it doesn't sound very very clacky where it's like annoyingly clacky if that makes any sense so if you were looking for a sound profile like that and these switches are definitely for you. I'll be doing a sound test here so you guys can see what I mean. So yeah, like I said, a little bit on the clackier side, but that's not a bad thing in my opinion because they still sound and feel very, very smooth. Another thing I wanted to point out is that if you want to use these switches for RGB, there might be a tad of a color shift. As you guys can see at the top row, I changed the switches on that row. You can tell that the lighting looks a lot different from the middle of the keyboard rather than the top row of the keyboard. That's because the top housing has more of a blue film over it, which can cause a color shift to the RGB itself. So if you're on a budget, these switches do go for 65 cents per switch on Keeps For All and on Ash Keeps and most websites, they do go for around 65 cents. So it's not super expensive and you don't have to worry about doing all that time consuming when it comes to lubing because these switches don't really need it. So it's very, very good for any beginners that wanna get a keyboard and don't wanna have to worry about modding too much or wasting so much time on lubing if you don't really know how to do it that well, then getting the Gateron CJ switches will obviously be very beginner friendly because you don't have to worry about that. Other than that, I'll be leaving everything you need to know in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about these switches in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.